back on this. Finally. You know, got junk laying around. I gotta sort some stuff out. But time to plan what's next. Do the I'm gonna do the rear suspension. And do the uh, hairpins for the rear. And kind of think about oh, shocks. I don't have a set of rear shocks yet, but well, be easy enough anyway. Gonna do the same for the front front shocks because currently where they're mounted on them see originally that was on the front shocks were there because of how they're mounted with the stock model a frame and the front cross member now I want to put them in behind. Probably just gonna use a longer, or a longer bolt off the spring shackle on top there, or maybe off the hairpin bolt goes through the clevis, sticking in there. So there's just enough room. Or something through the bat wing on the axle. Anyway, yeah, clean up and then we'll get at her. I haven't touched it in, well, gotta be a couple months. That thing gave me grief. Still giving me grief. I still gotta start it with a screwdriver. So. Yeah, something melted down in the wiring when that solenoid shorted out and exploded on the starter. So. I mean, probably New Year, buy a wiring kit. For the old poncho. I can't rewire it. This is a stock harness and it's still it's got about no, oh, it's got sixty years worth of Patches and repairs and modifications and changes and splices. There's one wire that runs up to the alternator. And we took the wire, plastic wire loom that was on it to tidy it up. Took that off. And there's like three butt joints and like three feet of wire. So that tells you the shape of the wiring. And it's not, I'm not pointing any fingers at anyone. It's just, you get a this repair, that repair, 60 years of wiring repairs, and it's just, there's just too many failure points. So I'll probably just order a kit. There's a kit in my old fleet line, and just the fact that all the wires are like printed right on the wire, what it's for, where it's going, I just, I'm a big fan of that. So it'd be worth the coin to grab a kit, strip it out. So there we go. Yeah, back on this thing. I've straightened some stuff up here. You wouldn't know it, but man, just too much junk everywhere. Okay, here we go. That's about as far as I'm gonna go with this. I put it all together. 
Wow. Let me finish this up here a little bit. Get in there. I'm going to make a little deal that can get in there. But yeah. That'll be her. Like I said, I don't want to overdo it because the rest of everything's not going to be super good. But it is a tea bucket. that I'm building and really a tea bucket is all about well as far as I'm concerned most of what it's about is that the engine is out there like you see the whole thing so I want to make sure it's something interesting but I've got old speed parts old dress up parts mostly I'm not going to put a whole bunch of stuff in it. I think I'll put a cam in it. That'll be as far as the performance stuff goes. But yeah, just give it a final buff with some mothers. That's the stuff I like to use, the wheel polish for aluminum wheels. It works really well. Some guys use flits, but yeah, it comes in a teeny tiny tube when the mothers you can get in a big tub. So that's that. Like I said, a little bit touch up here and there, but I don't want to go too far. You know, that's the hardest part. An intake manifold's a real pain in the ass to polish anyway. It's probably the worst thing. It's really easy. Yeah, it does. Let's head her over here. So what I've got up here. These for early small block be my next polish. Right on it. Don't even these ones don't even look like they've been used. At least someone didn't cut. These are for early style. Small block heads, see the offset bolt holes that hold them to the heads. Later ones have it straight across. I'm not sure when they changed that. 64, 65, somewhere in there. 383s, maybe sooner. You don't really run across these with the offset. So these will be a project to polish up. And I think these are old. Cal Custom. Possibly Moon. The cast. Japan. Not later Chinese stuff. The 40 1000. Not sure what that means. Part number, possibly. But they're both like this, right? For an engine with a road drive tube and a. Crankcase breather in the front. This, this is a these look as close to NOS as you can possibly get other than them not being in a box. Oh, there's no sign he's having ever been on an engine. Just cool. Stuff pops up if you keep your eyes peeled. You're never painted nothing, so I get to be the one that gets to ruin them. <laughs> but here, that's here's a priming. So these were polished at some point. You can see in between the fins, it's still rough cast. So that's the way these will stay. These polished up, the intake manifold polished up. Get some nice uh, early style. Some nice 
early style air cleaners, which I still have to find. What's in there? Oh, that's some more valve covers. I've also got these that are pretty damn cool. Oh, excuse my hands. I'm gonna do this one handed. All these guys do it. Other YouTubers, how the heck? Let's switch hands. These are the hot ticket too, right? A nice Chevy valve cover. Chrome. Yeah, they're not perfect, but they don't want perfect. These things are it's super cool. And again, here it's easier to see on these. So the offset bowl holes. There we go. That's not what this video is about. It's about polishing. I'll polish up those thin ones anyway. And then I got another set of just. These are standard ones, not a offset bowl hole. These are nicer ones. These are really nice. Okay. There's a... Let's see, these are later ones. See? The bowl holes are in line. So these won't fit my 283, but they will fit the 350 that's in the Pontiac. No, it doesn't have a Pontiac engine, it's a Canadian Pontiac. So it's got the, the small block Chevy. And originally it would have had a, that car, probably an inline six. Or may have had a 265. I think they call it a Jetaway. Not up on the early, early Pontiacs. V8 ones. I had a couple. I've had a 58 and I've had a 60. So. I don't know. They look cool. Dress it up. It's just got black spray painted. Everything old. Moroso valve covers or something. Yeah. Anyway, that's that. Actually, I'll show the both of them. This one here. That's my steering box. This one here. Should be able to see the difference. See, the original bowl holes, those ones are straight across. The one set line up, it's frustrating. You grab them in the swap meet, you don't look, and then you go to put them on at home, and then one set of bolts don't line up. And you're like, what the hell? Are these? I don't know, the first time I ran into it, I was like, what the hell is this? I get these at the swap meet because they were like screwed up stampings or something. But no, not the case. For earlier small blocks with the offset bolt holes. Later small block. Man, these things are in nice shape. Wow, I didn't know they were that good. <laughs> Wowzers. Fancy. Too fancy for this garage almost. Bam. There. Oh, yeah. There's a little difference that I point out. I know, got off on a little tangent. The video's about polishing stuff, but 
it's all still shiny stuff. Oh, yeah, when I get that chrome oil pan, I gotta clean up. Gotta be it. worth at least 10 horse. It's all this chrome. So, tea bucket, that's what it's all about. There's a rolling engine stand. I think if they go too far with other details, you kind of you can run the risk of it being overwhelming. So if you keep everything else sort of toned down, but just nice and clean and neat, and have that small block just sparkling like a it's like a jewelry box and a nice big fat diamond ring in it. And you open the lid and it, there it is. This thing's always on display. Okay, well, thanks for watching. And hopefully we'll have some more build stuff and then get stuff ready. Be, that's why the steering box is out and whatnot. I'm going to figure out which pedal set I'm going to use with that. I've got an F1 cross member. This is supposed to be an F1 steering box, but maybe not. If someone can tell me. I'm not too excited. This is the first car I've built where I've had to go this far from scratch. Most everything I've had has been 50s stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna scrape the gook off it. And find a friggin' part number. All right, thanks. And uh, yeah, like, share, and subscribe like everyone else says. And we shall uh, see you again soon.